By the end of this lesson, the students will be able to list the two types of Van der Waals forces, explain the formation of dipole-dipole forces, and temporary dipole-induced dipole forces of attraction. Relate the strength of Van der Waals forces to the molar mass and the shapes of the molecules and relate the strength of Van der Waals forces to the boiling points. We have already learned how atoms in a molecule are held together by covalent bonds. Water, for example, has two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom by covalent bonds. Forces of attraction or repulsion between molecules and atoms are called intermolecular forces. There are two kinds of intermolecular forces of attraction. They are Van der Waals forces and hydrogen bonding. Intermolecular forces are generally weaker than ionic bonds and covalent bonds. Less energy is generally required to evaporate a liquid than to break a bond in the molecules of the liquid. Click on Activity 1 to learn more about Van der Waals forces. There are two kinds of Van der Waals forces. They are dipole-dipole forces and temporary dipole-induced dipole forces. Dipole-dipole forces are interactive forces of attraction between polar molecules having permanent polarity in them. Let us now take a look at how the attraction of electrons takes place in a hydrogen chloride HCl molecule. Chlorine atoms attract electrons more strongly and develop partial negative charge delta negative. The hydrogen atom develops partial positive charge delta plus. Drag and drop the delta plus and delta minus symbols over the correct ends of one of the hydrogen chloride molecules. What do you think will happen when these molecules are brought nearer to each other? Discuss this and click on next. They orient themselves in such a way that a positive end of one dipole attracts the negative end of another dipole. Molecules that have a permanent dipole moment tend to align with opposite polarities for maximum attractive interaction. Now, click the Align Molecules button. A nonpolar molecule such as hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon tetrachloride, etc. has positive centers surrounded by a symmetrical negative electron cloud. How is a temporary dipole formed in a nonpolar molecule? Discuss and click Next. Initially, the electrons are evenly distributed throughout the molecules. As the electrons move, the electron cloud becomes denser on one side of the molecule for just a tiny fraction of a second. In the next instant, the electrons are positioned more on the other side of the molecule. The temporarily polarized molecule will induce a dipole in the non-polar molecule. Two main types of Van der Waals forces are dipole-dipole forces and 
temporary dipole induced dipole forces. Dipole dipole forces are forces of attraction between polar molecules. Temporary dipole induced dipole forces are forces of attraction between nonpolar molecules. The boiling point of a substance often reflects the strength of the intermolecular forces present. Use the boiling point graph above to deduce the order of increasing strength of Van der Waals forces of the hydrides of group 14. Drag the formula of the hydrides up into the correct boxes on the right. The order of increasing molar mass of the hydrides is as shown. What is the relationship between the molar mass of the molecules and the strength of their Van der Waals forces? Discuss this and click on Next. The higher the molar mass, the stronger the Van der Waals forces. As the molecules become larger, their electron clouds become more polarizable as the valence electrons are less tightly held by the nuclei. The strength of Van der Waals forces is also affected by the shape of the molecule. Butane and 2-methylpropane have the same molar mass and are isomeric. Click on each of the molecules to find out its shape. Elongated molecules have a larger surface area of contact and are more easily polarized than compact spherical molecules of the same molar mass. Select the isomer which has a higher boiling point and click on it. The boiling points of substances often reflect the strength of the intermolecular forces present. The higher the boiling point, the greater the strength of the intermolecular forces. The higher the molar mass of the substance, the stronger the Van der Waals forces. As the molecule becomes larger, the electron clouds become more polarizable because the valence electrons are less tightly held by the nuclei. The strength of the Van der Waals forces is also affected by the shape of the molecules.